Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jones, I'm your host. I'm here with TNT uh, Dynamite, the explosive one. Jones, you're the man on the studio. Yes, sir. Madden 21, babies. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All my little baby maniacs. It's desperate time. And Jonah, Jonah Tards. Jonah Knights. Jonah Knights. <laughs> Jonah Tard. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. What? Wow, dude. What? That's a. All right. So from a different time. Jonas, listen. This is what I forgot to talk about. It, uh, it may surprise you to learn that footballs were originally inflated with the bladders of animals, including oh God, this those is like, yeah, from a swine. Back. So they used to use pig black and oval shapes. So they would tatter out of an animal, and then coat it in leather. And then they would put like straw and stuff into it. Okay. Uh, but they stopped doing that in like the 1860s when they switched over to a vulcanized rubber. Yeah. Yeah. A little better than pig. Wow. They, they use like literal animal parts. Hey, man. Like they were just like 1860 is when they switched. So you're thinking like 1800s. So yeah. It's just I could crazy see that. that like they like consider about like how <laughs> unevolved society was in like 18 1820 yeah you worked with what you had i guess and then you're like let's create this 11 on 11 team sport where everyone works to get like uh, what the f dude like where did they come up with that i don't know as far as the game i figure it's just a bunch of guys who were you know like freaking uh edward norton and uh they were just like hey let's hit each other but let's make rules yeah. You try to get here and stop me. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, and then they're like, let's take a pig bladder and blow it up with air. That, you know. Wrap it in let. Like, how the hell does that come up, dude? Okay, so, look, me and me and Jonas the other day, we were looking up minks because we heard about the. Oh, uh, minks, yeah. Yeah, the great mink extinction that's actually going to be having where they're going to be killing, like, 27 million minks yeah, or whatever. Yeah, crazy, dude. Yeah, one country was, like, 17 million or yeah, something. Yeah, it was crazy. And we were talking about, like, furs. When? Why? Like, understand you have to work with what you have, but why would people look at an animal and be like, let's see what I can turn its guts into. <laughs> Let me cut this thing open, see what I can turn it into. Yeah, like, I get, like, back in the day, the, the pelts were used for, like, blankets, essentially. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get that. But then you're just wasting all the other stuff. Yeah, I guess. So you either got to eat it. Violin strings were made out of cat gut. Cat guts? Yes. How do you string them into a string, dude? I, I don't know. And then Jonas, I mean, even beyond that, we started turning them into shoes. Cat shoes? No, not the cats, but animals, just in general. We were oh. like, hey, let's take this animal, let's take this alligator and turn it into a boot. Oh, my God. Alligator shoe, dude. <laughs> alligator flat. <laughs> right? It's just weird to me that you just, like, take an animal and just, like, cut it up into pieces and then put it on and wear it. Especially when it's like a fully formed mink. Those minks were disgusting. Yeah, I don't even know what a mink looks like in real life. Well, I mean, those were basically what they look like. They kind of look like foxes. They're a little smaller, I guess. Maybe. I think Bigger. when I think of a mink, I think of a ferret. I kind of think of a ferret, too. But I think they're more like fox-like because I think they have longer legs. Ferrets, they have like Yeah, they're basically flippers. like a tube. Yeah. A tube of like a little feetsies <clears throat> popping out, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. I don't know. Yeah. I, I just like I don't like fooling with much animal stuff. Period. No, no. I don't like, like I don't like touching like, raw chicken or ground beef. I mean, I'm okay with that because no. I like eating it. Mm. So, no, I don't like to see it. In but that but form. you know what? You're there are many many people who do not like touching raw animal stuff. Oh well, yeah, hundred percent. Like it will, and I think the other thing is there's a lot of people who will not eat animal meat off the bone. So, like, mm -hmm. they won't eat, like, a T-bone steak, or they won't eat, like, chicken wings if, if they're not boneless, things like that. Because, like, the, oh, the act of pulling the meat off the bone is a <laughs> weird thing to them. <laughs> we, chicken we, legs, you are know. We, are we going to talk about the girl that you take to the restaurant and she always orders chicken fingers, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't going to. Oh, my God. They did one of them. Like, uh, you take her to, like, a fancy, like, steak place, and she's like, do they have chicken tenders? Uh, like, what? <laughs> Like, we, we could have just went to B-dubs, dude, and got oh, some chicken fingers. Jeez, man. Holy I've never crap. dated a girl who always got chicken fingers, at, no matter where you went. Why are we at Red Lobster if you're just going to get chicken fingers, woman? Well, yeah. Well, I'll just eat the chicken fingers and biscuits. Like, yeah, you're like, I could have ate wherever I wanted because you're getting chicken fingers regardless. <laughs> and then, but wait. 
wait. Here's the other thing. Gonna eat chicken fingers on our anniversary. Why does every <laughs> restaurant have chicken fingers? Because that that person, I'm not just gonna say woman. It's that, kids a that's lot. That's massage. To be fair, it's that person. Yes, and children exist, so they have to have an option. It's beneficial to them. Yeah, it's. I mean, true. Because when yeah, I'll just get chicken fingers. <sighs> And I, I get Jonah, everybody loves a good chicken finger. Yeah, I even make some at home, dude. There's nothing wrong with a chicken yeah. finger. No, dude, it's, they're pretty, especially when they're, like, not processed and it's, like, real, like, cut of chicken breast, breaded and fried. Yeah. That's really good. But there is something wrong with going to a restaurant and getting chicken fingers. Uh, yes, unless you're going to, like, a sports bar. Yes. Like, that's, yeah, you're like, oh, because, like, you go to, like, B-dubs, <clears throat> they have chicken strips you can get, too, instead of wings or whatever. Maybe B-dubs doesn't, but uh, Wing Daddy. <clears throat> <laughs> so, yeah, dude, I don't know. I've never met anybody who does that. Like, everyone I've ever dated always, like, they're like, yeah, I'll eat the food this restaurant serves that isn't uh, awful. <laughs> you know? Like, you go to the Chinese place, and they're like, oh, I'll get the hamburger. And you're like... Why are we at the Chinese place? We're going to get the... Because you know the quality of hamburger that's at the Chinese restaurant is nowhere near as good it, it if you would have went is. to, like, the burger restaurant. Right? That's... I, I feel like that's... Oh, excuse me. I feel like that's a hot take, but I feel like it's not really a hot take. Because whenever, like, the Chinese, a Chinese restaurant tries to make something American, it's just... It's not quite... Well, same. yeah. But, like, even, like, Mexican restaurants have, like, a cheeseburger or chicken fingers, yeah, too. And it's, it's always because, the like, same. they know that some people get drugged to a Mexican restaurant and they don't like Mexican food. <laughs> yeah, it's Whether good. it's a kid, a, you know, you're, like, the odd man out. Like, the four of you want to go eat that, you know, Chi-Chi's and you, like, wanted wings. Yeah, they're starting to cater to vegans more now, too. Yeah, dude. They got... You, you, what's the stuff? The tofu? I said you... Tofu. <laughs> they got me. They got you. There, I'm on the dude? menu. Yeah, they got a little Ooh. bit of TNT, dude. 100% grade A grass fed beef right here. Yeah, you for guys you want know. some? You guys want some dynamite in your life? Uh, go, to the, go to the vegan restaurant. <laughs> they can't afford me. Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> Trying to say he's worth a lot, friends. Yeah, I'm an expensive treat. Aw. <laughs> In fact, you find me on the dessert menu. Oh, dang. <laughs> what what dish it's, would you be, Jonas? I'd be a liver and onions. Oh, uh, nobody wants that. Exactly. <laughs> My point. That's disgusting. No, I would be uh what would I be, dude? I would be You're flame broiled for sure. Flame broiled. I'd be like a <laughs> flame broiled. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure that's good or not. <laughs> what? Flame bro, good? I don't know, is it? I don't know, dude. Now I'm all like I questioning gotta, my life choices. Okay, so when I think of, if I said you were boiled, oh, you know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's like waterlogged and like <laughs> bland. See, but if I, if, okay, and then I'm trying to think, what if I said you were steamed? That's a little better. But that, those they have no flavor if you're boiled or steamed. Exactly. That's why I said flame broiled, hickory smoked. Oh, smoked. You got a lot of flavor, dude. You got it's gotta be that. hickory too. It's always I've never tasted hickory in anything. I don't even know what hickory tastes like. It always but. reminds me of like wood. When I when I hear it, like hickory smoked, it's gonna be like just tastes like you're eating wood chunks. Yeah, but why is that? Why does that sound good now? It doesn't really to me. I don't really like smoke flavor, but I like things that are smoked because fake smoke flavor is gross. <laughs> Fake smoke flavor. They have a stuff called liquid smoke, and it has oh. a smoky taste. Oh. And it's gross, dude. It's bad. They have fake hickory? I mean, yeah, probably. To think that people have actually learned to, like, just mass-produce smoke flavor is kind of crazy. That's really gross. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a liquid that tastes like smoke. <laughs> you want the smoke? I'll pour some on your tongue. Just taste some smoke. Just ash on your own mouth, dude. Oh, just buy a pack serious. of cigarettes and ash on your own tongue. Hickory smoke. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's so gross. Ah! So, yeah, Jonas, you're definitely flame broiled, hickory smoked. Probably like braised. Ooh, got a, like a nice crust of flavor on the top. Yeah, they put you, on, ends. put you on a spit and rotate you. Oh, that's gross. What? Sounds pretty gross to me. <laughs> what does that sound? I don't know. Gross? It just does. Well, spit, spit me. Yeah, well, I was. I'm on the dessert menu. What do you mean, Gus? What are you, dude? I'm a like, sweet treat, dude. I told well, you. Well, I'm not asking you, I'm, like generally, like specifically, what sort oh. of sweet treat. There's a oh. lot. Of, are you a pie? Are you a cake? Are you a? Uh, are you a sundae? Are All you right. a shake? So I'm definitely chilled. Definitely chilled. Just chilled, not frozen. Yeah, with like with like subtle uh, overtones and like. 
Do you have a sultry to you? Or are you like a chocolate dish with like a sprinkle of like salt on top or something? So you get that sweet and all of a sudden you're like, what's that no, extra flavor? No, no salt. Maybe like a little confectioner's. Well, you know what? You know what? Yeah. Maybe I could, I could. Hold on, let me taste myself. <laughs> Ew. There's a... Yeah, there's a little caramel sea salt in there. Yeah, like yeah, dude, you got like so it's like not only you're not only sweet, you got a little bit of a little bit of uh, savory in <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, there's a slight tang. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like you got like you're like a chocolate brownie with like a piece of bacon on top. Like, yeah. oh, this doesn't yeah. seem like it should fit. Oh my god, is it good? <laughs> yeah, but I'm dangerous. You got to eat me with a broken shard of glass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> passion, dude. I was that's, like, that's what you that gotta do. That caught me off guard. I was like, that's dangerous. That's what you gotta do, man. You gotta eat me with a broken shard of wow. glass. They bring you a bottle, you just smash it on the table, and take the <laughs> neck, and that's what you like. Yeah, you spoon me up. Ew. <laughs> it's a part of it. If you don't cut yourself, it's free. So yeah, that's 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 the Jonas and the uh, the dynamite when we open up our restaurant. Wow, dude, that's a that's, lot of pressure on that's, us. To, that's the business we to need to get into. That, that are good. <laughs> that is the business. Selling Just, ourselves, yeah. We could we go like now. Nah, I know restaurants already do this, but we could sell like uh, sandwiches and dishes based on like famous individuals. Yeah, dude. There, there are restaurants that do this, what but they're the just Hulk like, Hogan oh, it's a burger dude. with like two pieces of beef. It's Dwayne Johnson. What's the? What would be the Hulk Hogan? <laughs> what would be the Hulk Hogan? It'd be, uh, I think it'd be a Raymond dish to okay. signify the hair. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't. Who is, who is Hulk Hogan anyway? Hulk Hogan? Yeah, it'd be like pork Raymond, like braised pork. Oh. <laughs> it's because it's when pork I think, ramen with cut up hot dogs in it. <laughs> I don't know when I when I picture Hulk Hogan, I always see him with like bronzed, glistening skin, and that just reminds me of like like you ever been to a pig roast? Yes. Yes, and that's what it kind of reminds. Oh, me like of. that leathery old man yeah. thing. Like it's like it's like it's like his, like his skin would be a pork rind. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, maybe it's like. Oh, eat it. Oh, just, and then the other guy got me. Oh, you're spooning. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you're getting up, hun? Sorry. I'm, I'm done. We're done with that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, who would be uh, the... Wow. This is, this is a good one. I didn't want to do another wrestler. I don't do a wrestler. Though. I'm trying not to. What would be the... <laughs> what would be the John Madden? <laughs> oh, dude. It's just like a glizzy. It's just... <laughs> Like I, really, I really expect you to go with traducan. Yeah, well, yeah, that was exactly what popped in my head. It was like it's like a turkey with nine legs, <laughs> but encased yeah. in a hot dog. Yeah, they take like a hot dog casing. The turducken dog. They take the turducken meat and then case it like a hot dog. Yo, the John Madden is a turducken dog. I like that. That's really foul. <laughs> I mean, hot dogs, how many different meats do they put in them anyway? Oh, it's all lips, lungs, and a-holes. Yeah, dude, from like every animal ever created. Just like platypus and toenails in it. Oh, it's just paste, it. dude. It's just, that's it, dude. It's just, it's just paste. <laughs> it's just paste. It is basically a slurry. Yeah, dude, and they put it in an intestine and they sell it to you. Yeah, Um. so when I found out that like uh, hot dogs casings were basically just like more animal flesh. Yeah just repurposed as like a convenient bag to carry the hot dog yeah, yeah. meat in. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it keeps it it keeps it like it, its shape. It's a shape yeah, maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I'm not sure if they use intestine lining, I'm, I'm, I, but I, I do feel like that. Some of them do. Like yeah, those those ones like that are right. stuck together, like where you have to like actually cut uh, them apart, where the hot dogs are just on a line. That's like a big thing of right, intestine in there. All right, all right, I'm going to try not to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Try not to. Just trying to help Is this you. the same episode where we were just talking about repurposing animal parts? Yeah. yeah right how back it comes into full it. circle sometimes. It, 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 sometimes it does. We don't even mean to, and we do. And But those are, like, good quality hot dogs because, like, the, the beef franks, like, the ballpark beef franks, what are those made out of? Oh, yeah. The, the ones that have, like, the, the knotted, like, connection, those are, like, butcher-made fresh meat dogs. Those aren't, like, the... Meat dogs. The LLAs, dude. What are LLA? Lips, lungs, and a-holes. Oh. Yeah, dude. Like, if you just go to the store and you just get hot dogs, not even beef, just hot dog, the plain ones, those are LLAs, dude. Ugh. 
I can't even do LLAs anymore. I gotta do beef. Like I gotta do beef ones if I do anything. And, and, th- and those are pretty much not yeah. much better. Hot dogs like that kind of remind me of like the candies I don't like, except in meat form, where it's oh, just like it's a big, <laughs> big vat of just like ground up parts, dude. They, just, they just like squeeze, squeeze it out of a machine into a case. <laughs> That's basically what they do, though. To be honest, are they even in a casing? The beef ones, I don't think, are in casings. Like, uh, I think, I don't know what they do. Because I think they used to be, or if they do, they're a very thin artificial casing now. I don't think it's an actual, like, part. Uh, uh, it's probably geez. cheaper. Uh, you know what, Jonas? I'll just have the chicken fingers. All right. That sounds good. So, uh, that is all time we have this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. There goes the ladder. It's really long. Uh, <laughs> That's what she if you've said. You've already done that. Do, uh, do Twitch. Twitch.tv backslash TNT, D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. <gasps> TNT. Yeah, for Jonas. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are out. Uh,